What's up YouTube? It's Christopher. Today we're looking at this insanely nice bass from Ernie Ball Music Man. This is a Stingray 5 Special HH. And it's got to have probably my favorite finish that I've ever seen on a bass. It's like a charcoal sparkle. And it's insane. It's so sparkly. It reminds me of like space. So cool. Uh, it's a redesigned in 2018 from, you know, the original Stingray model. They upgraded their hardware. This is a flat matte black. It's uh, made out of an aluminum, I think. I put strap locks on it, of course. Dual humbuckers. We've got volume, treble, middle, bass. Obviously two humbuckers. We have a five-way switch right here. Works just like a guitar. In uh, position one down here, I gotta angle this so I can see it. Position one, it's the full bridge humbucker. Position two, it's this outside coil and this outside coil. Position three, it's both full humbuckers. Position four, it's the inside coil of each pickup. And position five is the full humbucker in the neck. It's got the Ernie Ball truss rod adjustment there. This has a ebony fretboard with stainless steel frets with beautiful fret markers. Like they're so clean. It's really amazing. Um, just a sick, sick bass. Uh, I picked this up at Guitar Center, traded in some stuff, got a really good deal. You know, when you're buying a $2,400 bass, I guess, and you don't have to pay $2,400, you're getting a good deal. It's got the uh, compensated nut, holy smokes, my brain totally fainted for a second. It has a roasted maple neck, made in America, of course. Is the back you can see that the at the end of the headstock here or where the headstock begins the finish stops so that your playing area is silky smooth it's got the five bolt neck plate back there dual nine volt battery so this is 18 volts and they do that for the insane preamp that's in this thing gives you tons of headroom this base is incredible I'm gonna go right through the tones I'm gonna start in position one I have my EQ flat which means in the middle of each knob so each one of these tone knobs or EQ knobs I should say has an indented center that lets you know you're at zero and then you can cut or add to that I'm gonna leave this set in the indent and then I'll show you how much how drastically they change the sound and then a single volume then obviously the switch. So, go right in. I'm gonna start right off with the full-blown bridge humbucker. And it's bright, man. Position two is the outside coil. Super tight. position which is both humbuckers and it's my preferred spot on this I think it sounds huge and full <laughs> Position 
is the inside coil. Obviously the last position is the full blown neck humbucker. take this EQ right and I cut the treble all the way off it's like you get five different sounds all over again treble back and boost it and it's like too much you know so in the in the bridge uh, especially <laughs> which is the, uh, the middle of the three. Cut that all the way. That's the full bridge, now position one. Position two with the mid cut. and you do a mid boost. Mm -hmm. 
incredible the array of sounds you can get out of here. Bass boost and cut, maybe you'll hear it, maybe not, we'll see. So here's the bass boost, I'm sorry, bass cut. Just completely anemic. boost as my house will probably rattle apart right now to me is like funk town all day you can slap it's awesome it all the way up full-blown all of the EQ all the way up position one awesome. position two oh, I'm looking at my amp and it is peaking hard you know, there's a little LED that lights up when you're punching it a little bit <laughs> too hard. Oh, every note. And I should mention I'm playing through a TC Electronic BG250 combo amp. It's a great little practice amp. That's fourth position, by the way, completely boosted. <laughs> I 
also mention that my guitar is actually tuned uh, up a half step. Uh, so my tuning is C, F, A sharp, D sharp, G sharp. Uh, and the only reason I do that is I play in a, a metal band uh, called Sentence to Solitude. And this is the bass I play in it as of this week, actually. This is brand new for me. So, uh, And they tune to C. So it just made more sense to me to play a five and just tune it up a half step to uh, be able to match their open C string uh, without having to detune a four string down to C and having super flappy strings. I actually like this because of the tension that the strings get. I put a lower gauge set of strings on here, so these are lights, uh, which means I'm a 40 to a 120 on the B, uh, which is the light gauge. Uh, it holds the C tuning a little bit better. It's not super duper tight because it's a lesser gauge, uh, and it, it just works for me, so that's, that's what I've been doing. Um, I like it a lot. I love this bass. I can't get enough of this finish. You know, when you see that sparkle in the light, it's just crazy sick looking. Um, nasty bass. Obviously, they're a little pricey. So, you know, getting your hands on one is not always super easy. Um, but, you know, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, check one out if you get a chance to. Uh, if you don't like it, I don't know what you did wrong. But it's a nasty bass and I absolutely love it. It's the Music Man Stingray 5 Special HH in Charcoal Sparkle Finish. Uh, and it might not be called Charcoal Sparkle, but that's what I call it. I know it's Charcoal something. They might have like some crazy like Midnight Charcoal or something fun, funny like that, but amazing instrument. Um, I love it. Check them out. There you go. Music Man. Gorgeous. Till the next time, YouTube. Peace.